This week's Sedra, the Sedra of Emor, contains amongst its many mitzvot the one which happens to define the time in which we currently find ourselves, the period between Pesach and Shavuot. The mitzvah is the mitzvah Sefirat Omer, counting the Omer. And every day, during this period, we're obliged to declare how many days have passed since Pesach. And each evening we count how many days and how many weeks, until finally, after 49 days and 7 complete weeks, we reach the festival of Shavuot, the season of the giving of the Torah. Many centuries ago, the question was asked, why is it that Jews in the Diaspora keep an extra day of Yom Tov, an extra day of each festival, based on a historical time when there was a doubt as to when the new moon had fallen and hence which day of the month the festival was due to occur? Why don't we also count two days of the Omer at once? For instance, when it's the twelfth day of the Omer, why don't we say, today is the twelfth day of the Omer, and today is the eleventh day of the Omer? Just as on Yom Tov, we essentially do the same. We have the first day of Yom Tov, and then the following day, because of this historic doubt, we have another first day of Yom Tov. Many answers have been given to this question. About a hundred years ago, Rav Avram Shapira, the Rav Kovna, answered it in the following way. He said, when the Torah requires to, us to count... Counting has to have a degree of certainty. When one counts, one has to know what day it is. To say that today is the 11th day, oh, and maybe it's the 12th day, is not a counting. It lacks that certainty, it lacks that definitiveness that counting requires. And therefore, were the rabbis have to impose this double counting, they would have invalidated the whole nature of counting itself. We can examine this answer further. There are many mitzvot. In fact, a vast number of mitzvot in the Torah, which require us to make fine distinctions between something which is kosher and not kosher, between pure and impure, and between one period of time and the next. A certain moment on Friday afternoon suddenly changes the very state in which we found ourselves. One moment it's the weekday, and one split second later it's Shabbat. The Torah requires us to have definitiveness, to be sure, to be certain, which period we're in, which category we're in, which side of the boundary that, that the Torah has created are we to be placed. And therefore, when it comes to counting time, as we have to during this period of Sefirot Omer, the Torah requires us to be sure what it is that we're counting. But one can go further still. Many authorities explain that the counting of the Omer represents a journey, a journey from Pesach to Shavuot. And each one of the 49 days is another step along that way. We leave behind ourselves slavery and we move towards the receiving of the Torah. And each one of these 49 steps is precisely a step in that direction. We're moving forwards. We're moving upwards. And when we make a step, we have to know where we have left and to where we have come. And if we're still not sure what step we found ourselves, if we're still not sure whether we're on the 11th step or the 12th step, are we nearer to Egypt or are we further away? If we haven't made that decisive break with yesterday's step, if we haven't made a clear move towards the new stage in which we are aiming for, then that's not called counting. That's not called moving. If we're not sure where we are, if we're not sure whether we're in one camp or the other, if we're not sure on which side of the fence we find ourselves, even when it comes to one of the little steps that take us on this 49-day journey, then that's not called counting. As we count the Omer, we have to make the Omer count. We have to make each day count. We have to make each day to be a decisive step forward. A step further away from Pesach, a step closer to Shavuot. A step further away from slavery, slavery to the influences and dictates and desires of our age. And one stage further, one day nearer to receiving the Torah on Har Sinai and renewing our commitment to mitzvot. Shabbat Shalom.